Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing an experiment with these four Milwaukee battery operated vacuums that are all hooked up to this chamber that has a two inch outlet. And we're gonna be comparing four of these running at the same time through the same hose, comparing it to this traditional 6.5 heavy duty corded vacuum, which you can buy at Home Depot. And uh, this is supposedly the most powerful one that they have. Now, why I'm doing this? Well, I kind of need a battery solution of a vacuum that is stronger than or as strong as a corded version. And I'm working on a project, so I started deciding to uh, try to start experimenting and see if this would actually work. And I decided maybe you guys were interested to see what would happen if you would connect multiple vacuums together. In this case, we're doing four battery operated vacuums. And uh, if you guys are wondering, I did do a few different videos separately. I connected four heavy duty vacuums like this. Not that I, They're not identical. Four of them connected to a 55 gallon barrel drum. And out the other end, I connected a four inch uh, drain pipe hose as the vacuum sucker and I was doing some experiments on what it can suck up, rocks, dirt, and uh, mulch and stuff like that. And uh, there was another video, if you guys are interested, you can look up in the, in the, you know, the list of all the videos that I have. Uh, recently I put up also, I converted a uh, backpack blower into a vacuum that goes over a 55 gallon barrel drum and also connected to a four inch drain pipe. And it was actually very impressive on what it could do and what it can suck up and rocks and such like that. If you guys are interested, you can check that out. But now let's come back to this. Now we have two meters here. I made this one myself, okay? I was trying to look for a vacuum meter on Amazon and on Google and there's a bunch of different ones. This one is just one from a mechanics and this one measures in HG, which is mercury, uh, inches of mercury. I guess. Um, and uh, as you can see, the most vacuums were, these are the marks right here. It was landing around like three or two um, inches of mercury, which is very hard to measure between two objects because they're so close. The measurements are so close and I couldn't find anything. So I had to make my own using uh, hot glue. And I, I am gonna be putting up a video how I made this. I made this all out of hot glue, putting it in a funnel and um, it's kind of rubbery and it kind of goes over a lot of different diameters of pipes. Now, this one didn't, doesn't work out too well on measuring the difference between things, but uh, it still works. So I ended up ordering this. I ordered this from Amazon guys. This one is a water meter. This is a vacuum meter that measures inches of water. So the vacuum. So this is like a traditional uh, vacuum. That's why it's a little bit bigger than two inches because most hoses are about two inches and you just plug this up in uh, a vacuum and it tells you the vacuum uh, inches water uh, inches of water lift. Um, and we're going to be showing you what these four do. And what this one does, and then we're gonna disconnect all of these and individually test them because uh, three of them are the older style, one of them is the newer style, and one of them also doesn't work as efficient as the other ones. It just seems like it sounds a little bit less. So obviously your vacuum uh, power is gonna be uh, kind of like on determining on the weakest link, I believe. So we're gonna test that theory and see. Now, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna put a link down below for this. You can buy it on Amazon. I think it was 75 bucks with tax. I couldn't find it any cheaper. Um, and uh, yeah, it came in in a few days and this was pretty interesting because you can see the measurements. It's very easy to determine how, um, you know, how close or apart something is with a nicer meter. So let's get to, I'm gonna be writing down some of these so we can keep track of which one is better. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> So we measured on this water inches of water meter. Uh, we meant we measured uh, 40 inches of water lift, and that was an inches of what this also um, measures in kilopascals, which goes from zero to 40, and inches of water from zero to 160. So this is a dual uh, measurement device, which is kind of cool. And you can you replace this. You can put it on a bigger pipe. I kind of would like this to be on a four inch pipe 
just like I did or four inch cone, but I could always replace it and put on the one I made. But yeah, so that was 40 and on the, the uh, mercury inches, it was pretty much on, I'm, I'm assuming this three because this whole thing is zero to one. And so I guess the lowest number you can measure is one. So one, two, three, it measured to three. So now let's hook up this big vacuum and see what this does. Okay, so uh, this did on the inches of uh, water, it did 49, just about 49. That's what the measurement that I read. And on the inches of mercury, it did 3.75. A little bit better than these four units connected. Now, also don't take this to heart because maybe these vacuums uh, only uh, have a water lift in generally lower, no matter how many you add together, it's not going to have a bigger water lift. Plus one of them could be a weaker link. And we are going to be taking those apart right now and to test each one just to make sure, um, to see if one or two are weaker than the other ones. And maybe we can close it off and remeasure it to see if the three good ones or one, you know, uh, or two good ones are better or just one in general, if it's comparable. So aside from that, um, there's another theory here. I don't have a wind speed uh, CFM meter. Now, I did order one. It only goes up to 100 miles an hour. I think the wind speed here or the vacuum of the speed of the wind moving, I think it's past 100. So I don't think I'll get an accurate reading either way. But um, so if you actually hook them up now, you're not here, but I am. And uh, when I put my hand over this 6.5 horsepower vacuum, it has a good suction. And, uh, but for some reason, when I put my hand over this one, it seems like it has a stronger suction, not the pressure on my hand where that's what's measuring the inches of water lift. So the suction itself, but I think, um, there's more air volume that is moving at less, uh, vacuum, uh, pressure. It's just more volume, but less water lift than this one. Now I could be wrong. Now this is two inch diameter hose. Those are, I think, uh, I think this is like, um, an inch and a half or inch and a quarter. And obviously if you measure those together, I can, I'll do the math after and I'll figure out if this is the same diameter as four of those. Because when I was doing a video about the, uh, the four full size vacuums that I connected together, uh, and then using a four inch hose diameter on the other end as a vacuum, I thought four, two inches is going to equal out to way more of area than a four inch pipe, but I guess I was wrong. So it was 5.2, uh, pipes of uh, two inches would equal out four inches of a diameter pipe. So that's just the way it works. Three point, I think two inches of surface area here versus, um, 16 point something square inches on the four inch pipe. So there is kind of a difference, but it still seems that there is um, more kind of, if you kind of pick up your hand and close it, you can kind of, you can feel the speed of the wind going through there before the vacuums turn on, you know, like get closed off. I think those have more speed, but less power. And uh, I will be, I did order one um, that can, can measure up to hundred miles an hour. I want to see if maybe if this might, uh, I might be able to measure it somehow, maybe putting it in the bigger pipe and doing the square inches and stuff. So I don't know, but so far, um, this one is not as strong as a 6.5 in the water, uh, inch, uh, inch is of water lift. Um, but it still seems like this one has more power, uh, more wind speed. So let's take these apart and start measuring. Okay, so vacuum one. We did get different readings. We had uh, 40.1, 40, 40.5, 40.5. And overall, we got 40.1 of vacuum uh, inches of water lift between the four. So we lost 0.5, uh, 0.5, you know, so it kind of counteracted maybe. So 
Um, surprisingly, I figured altogether collectively should be 40 of water lift uh, inches of water lift because I figured the weakest link would be the that number, but I guess not. It's uh, it's 41 between them all, even though the lowest one is 40 and the highest one is 41.5. So that's actually pretty interesting. So um, I guess that's it. We tested them all. Um, sorry guys, I don't have a, a wind speed meter here now, but maybe in the future I will redo this. And um, yeah, so if you guys are wondering, does it work with having con more connected vacuums on um, more uh, water lift, uh, inches of water lift? It really doesn't, it seems, but you do increase the amount of airflow. So you can hook all four of these up to, let's say a two inch pipe, and it seems like it's actually creating a faster vacuum. So it can pick up probably things, um, us more solid objects, but when it comes to like sucking up water or something that gets stuck inside, the big vacuum will win. This is my kind of take on all of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, see you guys next time.